It's going to be some changes. No doubt we're under two minutes remaining. That last bucket stopped the 7 0 run by South Carolina. High post jumper good. Ashlyn Watkins, the junior. What a talent she is. And Rice happy to let some clock work. And this crowd sensing the history that is going to be made in a minute and a half on the game clock. And that is the number one team in the land going down. Betts gets it blocked. Picks it up and goes the other side. Watkins got her hand on it. 0 for 20, UCLA against number one ranked teams. And we're going to change that after this one today. Watkins had the block against Betts, but she recovered, got back, scored on the other end, tried to go right at Betts. Betts said, no, that's not going to happen in my pink. Got a chance to talk with some of the players yesterday at practice. They were all excited. They knew about the sellout. They knew this crowd was going to bring it, and boy, have they. And there's another takeaway. Scrappy D and a reach in by Barker. And that's going to be the fifth team foul on UCLA. So boy, I just for the game cops. I tell you, this is probably not what a lot of people expected. The South Carolina who has looked unstoppable, undefeated last year, and coming into UCLA that added so many great pieces in the offseason, but are they going to be able to put it all together early in the season as they learn each other? The from the opening tip, it has been UCLA in total control. Their largest lead, 23. South Carolina has not led in this game. Yeah, something that just doesn't happen to this team and hasn't for a while. They have been averaging 81 points a game, only giving up 54 points per game. A better second half for Dawn Staley's team. They'll have some positives to take from the second half. Well, you can bet she's going to break down that first half and hope that it never happens again as Pow Pow gets the long rebound and another one. And a cheer from her family. She's got 18 points. She's perfect from deep four for four. Just not enough for South Carolina here. And that 43-game winning streak is coming to a halt. Two-second differential, shot clock, game clock. This crowd on their feet. I have a feeling some of the students may try to make their way out on the floor, <laughs> at least. We shall see. This is a big one for Corey Close and this team. This is one of the kinds of games that she, I think, said, you know, this team really needed it. She told them, lean in. Lean into this challenge. Lean into the difficult play and the difficult times. Uh, and no intimidation factor whatsoever. They look comfortable. They look confident from the tip. Free throw's good. Avery Kane has checked in, the freshman from Santa Maria, California for the Bruins. You've got Dudley out there as well, Kendall Dudley. Another freshman for UCLA. As that one goes with 3.9 remaining. And the Bruins. The number one team in the nation after they've won 43 in a row. Their first win over a number one team ever in program history. a double-double. She had to fight hard for the points, but was doing so many other things. 11 points, 14 rebounds, and four assists for Betts. South Carolina had really honed in on her and off the bench. Spectacular London Jones with 15 points, five of five behind the three-point arc for her. That first win against the number one ranked team in this Bruins team, loving it. And again, snapping that win streak for South Carolina. A lot of season left, but reason to celebrate, no doubt about it, for UCLA. And they are loving this crowd. Feeding off the in in energy here inside as the Gamecocks will make their way to Fort Myers for the Fort Myers tip-off. Don't forget Iowa State 
their next opponent. And I love the smiles on the faces of the UCLA Bruins. What a team effort. Every single player involved, whether it was rebounding, scoring, full team effort for UCLA today in this one. Bruins go to 5-0 overall.